Well, hello there. Now, this is either Mr. Bunk85 or Solo Man. And I'm making this video to kind of ask for a little bit of help, maybe. Or maybe I can help somebody else who has the same camera and having the same problems. So this is the camera that I bought that I make my videos with. Now I used to have an AC90 Panasonic, quite a professional camera, but the main board went and it was going to cost just as much to buy the main board as it was a new camera. And I asked Panasonic about it and they weren't really very helpful, so I just smashed the camera up with a hammer. Actually, I made a video on it on this site. So I started looking around for a reasonably decent camera, but I wasn't going to buy a really expensive one again. And probably not going to buy Panasonic again either. But after checking all around, the best camera I could really find with what I wanted was this Panasonic HC-VX1 mainly because of the price. And it was 4K, only at 30 frames per second though. This is the model that doesn't have the viewfinder at the back because I never use it, I'm never behind the camera. So I started using it at 1080p because I thought the 4K was just an afterthought and a sales pitch. But then I thought if I film in 4K and scale it down to 1080p, I would get a better picture, a sharper picture, which would be a lot easier to key out with green screen. And it did give me a lot better picture and better cleaner green screen. But I noticed that the lighting was kind of flaring up and flaring down. And I noticed it in post and I had to try and fix it, which took some time. And it seems to be doing it all the time. I don't know whether it does it in 1080p, but it does it in 4K. So I'm going to show you what it does. I've sped the film up a little bit so you can see it quicker. Now the room I do my green screen in has one window which is completely covered up so no light can come in from there. So here is some raw footage of a video I have recently just did and as you can see the lighting just went down there have you noticed. And it seems to be staying reasonably steady again now. Now it's brightening back up again. Did you see that? It seems to be triggered with body movements. And it's quite steady now. And then there was a flash, and then it goes brightened down again. I have contacted Panasonic, and they told me to completely reset the camera, which I did, and it still does it. And they asked me to send them a quick video of it, which I've done. So we'll see what happens. Some light deviation you can deal with, but this is absolutely a end of the scales, isn't it? It goes right up and then down again. But I'm just wondering if anybody who has this camera has had any issues with it in 4K like that. I've tried it with all different settings, with facial framing on and off, backlight on and off, compensation, and I believe it's something to do with the 4K recording. So I just thought of people out there who like to know about a camera, the VX1, that it may not be the best camera to buy that if you want 4K. And of course if any Panasonic person is actually watching this or seeing this, let me know. Because I'm not going to put up with it forever. And I was looking at the XA40 Canon, which of course is quite a lot more money, but maybe it's a more stable 4K. Well, I'll see if I can get any help and I'll let you know what the outcome is with Panasonic. But considering I didn't hear anything back from my other camera, I'm not holding my breath. Come on, Panasonic. Do the right thing.